Tai Chi should be fun and not a chore or a task. It is learning physical poems using the mind and the body. One plays and practices Tai Chi. One never masters Tai Chi, although that doesn't mean there are not Tai Chi masters. Learning by repetition is preferred over memorization. Memorization brings back thoughts of painfully learning the multiplication tables. Tai Chi can be done indoors or outdoors, with a group or alone. There are different benefits attached to each of these scenarios. Here are some thoughts on practicing Tai Chi that have worked for me. I can't guarantee they'll work for you, but take a look and see if there are any tools here that may help you. There are three main camps in Tai Chi, performance, self-defense, and mind-body. All three overlap and are not mutually exclusive. If you sign up for a class that is very heavy into one camp and one camp only, this may or may not be the camp of your liking. Mindfulness is important in Tai Chi and in life, but what does mindfulness mean? It has many definitions, but one important one is that you're not trying to multitask as you're doing something physical. Thinking about yesterday's failures or tomorrow's successes while trying to cross a busy and icy street might not be a good idea. Tai Chi tries to teach you to be aware and in the moment, relaxed but aware. If you find yourself drifting off into the past or future while doing exercises or movement, use a key word or phrase that can bring you back into the present. This single method of being mindful alone accounts for significant fall prevention. Just think how much better you will get when you also strengthen your muscles, tendons, bones, and you practice balance exercises and transfer of weight. Start with the basics of Tai Chi. The postures, the philosophy, history, and the benefits of Tai Chi. Check those out. Get comfortable with those and practice will be easier. Should you practice the same day of class? I've always found it easier to digest a session and sleep on it rather than trying to practice immediately after getting home from class. The opposite may be true for you, however. Try it both ways before deciding. Keep a journal. Keeping a journal of your reflections after class may help in reviewing the session and will make it easier to remember the brainstorms, modifications, shortcuts, and revelations that you may have had in class. Practice in different environments, outside or inside, alone or with people, or even with people watching. Face different directions each time you do the form. You have at least four directions to play with. Try different hours of the day. Try with music or no music. Never get dependent on music or dependent on silence. Don't fight it. Don't judge yourself or think of yourself as being judged by others. And definitely don't lose sleep over it. You might, however, be able to give your mind a gentle nudge to guide you through an area of difficulty. You'd be surprised what problem solving the mind can do overnight. Be patient with yourself. Tai Chi is slow flowing movements. Did you really think that you were going to learn Tai Chi fast? Learning practically anything takes time and effort. Set breathing aside. That doesn't mean to stop breathing. It means don't add it to the list of things that you have to memorize or another component of a move. Breathe natural, slow, and deep. Learn the move first and see what your body's telling you about whether to inhale or exhale. Here's a tip to relaxing and slowing down. Focus on the exhale. Studies have shown that the heart slows down slightly on the exhale. Practice in front of a mirror or a camera. This is one of my instructors, Dr. Russ Smiley. The last time I tried this, the mirror cracked, so I guess I have to wait seven more years before I can try it again. Adapt and make modifications. This is something that should be taught in the first class. Make a change if you have shoulder, knees, or joint issues. Don't exercise in pain or push the body beyond its limits. The more you practice, the more you'll be able to tell the difference 
between a good old-fashioned ache associated with muscles that haven't been used or if you're straining parts of your body. Practice is a good time to assess your body and know how well you're treating it.